Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very very important concept for evaluation of the regression model which is coefficient of determination. So in my previous video, I have shown you how you can uh, make linear regression model in MATLAB, right? Now once you create your model, next part comes how much uh, high accurate your model is what is the accuracy level okay if the accuracy level is high then your model is good if the accuracy level is low then your model is not good you have to train it properly as simple as that so uh, we have seen that residual or error part okay what is error part suppose one part for one particular data point the actual value is yi and our predicted value suppose our linear regression is y equal to mx plus c so our predicted value will be y uh, mxi plus c right now the difference in between actual and the predicted one is called residual okay so now we have seen that if the residual is in random fashion then we say our model is good but if the residual is for following certain behavior that is continuously increasing like that then we say that no our model has some problem right but suppose you are having very high value of residual then we cannot say now that our model is good so the error part is very high or very low this comparison how we can do obviously we need some standard thing based on which we can compare right that comes in coefficient of determination so let us try to understand what is that the typical formula for coefficient of determination is 1 minus residual sum of square by total sum of square what this particular term signifies this is nothing but summation over all the error okay error means nothing but actual minus the predicted and you square them that is nothing but residual sum of square okay and this total sum of square is nothing but uh, your actual value maybe yi minus of average of all the uh, y value this error you just take square and then take summation this is indicated by this particular term total sum of squares and 1 minus this whole term is nothing but coefficient of determination so how this particular uh, formula came how it signifies the uh, accuracy of a uh, model linear regression model i am going to discuss now we, will, we are going to feel the concept intuitively okay so first the numerator term residual sum of square which is very simple suppose i am having some data point in my two dimension and i uh, want to uh, find out the linear regression model for this particular data set so suppose we have found out uh, this particular straight line which perfectly fits on our data set and now what we do we calculate the error okay so actual value minus the uh, predicted one for all the data point we will calculate that and like here for this particular data point actual value is this one predicted value is this one so if you just uh, calculate error by this formula actual minus predicted here you will be getting positive error here you will be getting negative error because predicted is higher than the actual here in this case actual is higher than the predicted so as a result here you will be getting error is positive but here you will be getting error as negative right so simply you cannot do like this that is actual yi minus yp okay you cannot do like this summation of all this error because some positive some negative error uh, might nullify each other and as a result after addition of all the errors you might you might get very small value which uh, from which you might misinterpret that your model is very good but actually it is not so what we do we take square of all the errors and then take summation okay so this is called residual sum of square now obviously yeah, this should not be high enough right but how we can compare whether this is high or low so we need some standard so that standard what we do we take this particular line which is basically average of all the y point okay in our data set okay so now what will happen so this is our average line y bar okay mean of all the y now now you take error with respect to this mean okay suppose this is my actual uh, y value for this particular x right so the uh, predicted one suppose this is our regression line predicted one is here but here is our actual so predicted minus actual the error whatever we are getting here in this case this error we are getting here in this case this error we are getting like this you take 
uh, error square for all these. Okay. Now try to feel that this is nothing but one kind of standard we can say. We can compare our original regression model with respect to this. We can get an idea. Right? So what we do, we basically divide our sum of all the actual error, which is basically uh, uh, actual y value minus predicted and square them and then take summation, divide by this particular one. Okay. So this is standard and this is our whatever we are getting using our linear regression model. So obviously it is quite clear. Suppose our uh, linear regression model, uh, I am drawing using some other color. Suppose our linear regression model for this particular data set goes like this. Now, here you can understand that if our line, uh, the uh, linear regression line is uh, coming as best fit, very good fit on our data set, then obviously the sum of square error with uh, for all the data points with respect to that uh, linear regression line will be lesser than this particular error okay which is we are calculating with respect to mean okay now when you take one minus of that term so what it will indicate that is if our line is fitting in the better way then this particular value will be very very less compared to our this particular term because this is kind of uh, constant for one particular data set we can say but if, if our line is fitting in a good way, then this error will be lesser and this is constant. So overall, this term will decrease and one minus the whole term will increase. So more the value of coefficient of determination, our model is good, uh, very good, we will say. But suppose our model is uh, fitting in a very bad way in our data set. Okay. In that case, whatever error we will be getting um, uh, with respect to that linear equation line, that will be more than this particular one. Okay. So in that case, our average, that is nothing machine learning concept we are applying. We are just taking uh, one average line. That average line is uh, fitting in a better way in our data set. So if this case appears that this particular uh, numerator is greater than denominator, that means simply we can say our model is very bad. Like that is not at all trend and in that case this particular whole term will be greater than 1 and 1 minus that term will be less than 0 we can say in that case because if this is greater than 1 1 minus greater than 1 obviously less than 0 so if somehow your coefficient of determination goes below 0 that means that is very bad model okay and best case is what best case is 0 error I am considering all the data points are placed on our linear regression line. So as a result, this particular numerator term will be 0, right? And if the numerator term is 0, then in that case, 0 by something will 0, 1 minus that is 1. So basically, ideally, our range should be 0 to 1. 1 is best fit. And if it is close to 1, that means good fit. If it is closer to 0, if the coefficient of determination comes closer to 0, that means that is bad fit. And if it is going less than 0, that means the linear regression line, whatever we are fitting, is very bad. Because in that case, the error, actual error, is greater than the mean also. And the, the actual error is greater than uh, the error, whatever we are calculating, with respect to mean of all the y data points. That means how much bad the data uh, fitting, you just try to think. Like one example I can show you. Uh, so before going to that, I hope this formula is now clear to you. Try to fill the formula, no need to memorize, okay? And the case where it is negative, can it take negative value? Yes, it can take negative value if the model is very bad. In that case, this might happen. Like here is the beautiful example. You can see that here, our this particular uh, data set, here uh, these rates, uh, these uh, data points, these circular data points are our data set on two-dimensional plane. And here, this green color is the line which you are not calculating using some machine learning model. This is just average of all the y data point. I hope you can understand. And suppose somehow we are getting a linear regression line like this. Now you can clearly understand that the error with respect to this particular linear regression line is much more compared to the error which we are getting with respect to this particular mean line. Okay. In this case, 1 minus that particular term will be less than 0 and we can clearly see that our model how much uh, bad or worse our model is in this particular case right 
So this is the concept. Coefficient of determination is widely used for uh, the for checking the model accuracy for any kind of regression related machine learning concept. I hope you have understood and very, very popular interview question is can it take negative value and what it signifies. It can take negative value and it signifies our model is very bad or model. Okay. So I hope the concept is clear to you. Coding part I will show in MATLAB in my next video. Thank you for watching and if you find this video helpful, please like, share and comment, subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos. Thank you.